welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna harvest some spruce tips and make a fast spruce tip syrup. So I have this spruce tree, actually I have two trees growing in one. It's got some great uh, spruce tips growing on it. The general rule for harvesting spruce tips is you pick one, leave two. We actually need to cut this down because it's getting in the way of our driveway. So I am actually, I'm not gonna harvest these ones. I'm just gonna harvest these upper ones. I am gonna harvest them all, but if you are out foraging for them or if you have a tree that you wanna keep, make sure you pick one, leave two, so you don't stunt the growth of the tree. Spruce tips, you can do pine, spruce, or fir, but they are the baby branches of the tree. They're gonna be bright green. They only come out in like late spring, early summer. And so, oh, I just knocked one off. Sometimes they have this little brown on them too. Spruce tips will actually come off the branch really easily. All you have to do is just simply pull them off. You don't really even need to pinch them unless they're a little bit more mature than these little baby ones that I'm showing you. Now, if you live in the north like I do, you know that citrus trees do not grow well up here. To make up for that, we have our pine trees and spruce trees and trees like that. They hold a lot of vitamin and minerals similar to citrus trees, including vitamin C, vitamin A, potassium, and even magnesium. And spruce tips, especially spruce tip syrup or tea even, are known to help with colds and coughs. I am after these for their vitamin and mineral content rather than saving them for colds and coughs, but it is nice to know that I can make this now. And if something happens later on this summer, then I have a cough syrup ready to go. And spruce tips actually taste really good. It's not as strong as you might think it is. And it's not earthy. It's more of a floral flavor. It's really nice in a syrup, especially balancing with that sweetness in a syrup. All right, I didn't harvest them all, but I did get a good amount in my bowl. I'm gonna go in and make some syrup, so come along with me. Okay, so I'm gonna make a simple syrup that is infused with the spruce tips. I actually like to follow balls guidelines to making syrups. They give instructions for extra light to heavy syrup and all it is is water and sugar. I will, I'm going to do a light syrup, not an extra light. I'm going to use the syrup for teas and stuff like that. So I just want a light syrup. Okay, here are the instructions for the syrups. I'm going to go with the light syrup. Six cups about, should be about two quarts worth of syrup, and that should be plenty for us. So the only ingredients you need for this are water, sugar, and your spruce tips. And how much you're going to use is going to be according to how heavy of a syrup that you want. set your stovetop on medium high heat and get it to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer for a while and then our syrup should be done. When it's cool to room temperature, go ahead and pour and strain into your jars, making sure you take all those spruce tips into your strainer and pressing down to make sure you get all the liquid out of them. And you are done with this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps. Be sure to get out there and get your spruce tips while they are young and tender to make this delicious syrup. This will last in your fridge for quite a while, so it's worth trying to make it. This actually was really fast, and it is ready to use in teas or any other sort of drink or anything that a little simple syrup would do good in, and I am so excited I got this done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.